Okay, okay, okay. It's the boy in Odamas, and you're now tuned in to the greatest show in the world, Extreme Sports, with my man, Big T, King C's. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Big T, Big T, King C's, uh, Extreme Sports, uh, here on this Wednesday morning. Um, a lot to get into, waiting on seeds to come in real quick. So, hey, let's take a real, real quick commercial break and we'll be right back. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Jay Real at The Real Hip Hop Show. Check the show out at The Real Hip Hop Show slash Spreaker. Extreme Radio. If you want your music played on The Real Hip Hop Show, send your music in MP3 form oh, to The Real Hip Hop Show at Yahoo.com. Check us out. The Real Hip Hop Show slash Spreaker. Extreme Radio. Let's go. All right, that was Jay Real, Jay Real Hip Hop Show, Sundays at 8 o'clock on Extreme Radio. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Big T, like I said, right here on Extreme Radio. Um, hold up. All right, let me call C's back in right quick and let's get this going. We'll be. Just be patient with us one quick second. Good morning, C. What's going on? Not much. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. We live, though. We live now. We got you on. So we good. <laughs> what's up? Say what's up to the people of Extreme Radio. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, big T. Yeah. Uh, see, uh, get, let's get into it, man. Uh, your boys got destroyed last night, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Dom Mitchell 20. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> took a ass with <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, Kevin Durant just 13 points. Um, that's on. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, Clay Thompson, something like that. Yeah, and then then he get hurt that game. <laughs> and we get that. Yeah, so very bad game in his part. Uh, Clay Thompson twenty three points. Um, you know Utah. Utah have been playing some great ball lately, though. Great ball. Um. Yeah, they about yeah. Uh, what's his name? Uh, um, what's the coach name? Play for the uh, uh, um, Quinn Snyder. You know, he been you know, he we we are uh, reasserted to say he got uh, left from uh, Missouri uh, in college, and he been you know they got the Utah job. And last year he had a pretty good squad, and they didn't think he would do nothing this year. Was shoot, he don't put his team to maybe take over the third seed in the uh, playoff spot. So, that's big, you know. So, they're putting them, yeah, 
but that, that West is very competitive. The West, uh, everybody's right there together. Ain't about the game right. They're a game behind each other. So, you know, everybody's going to clinch away on Minnesota and Denver right now. So, from the last spot. It'll take a Okay, is y'all? Oh, so he going for the season? Got no? Yeah, I know it's close to the time coming back. Hold on. I'm going to look that up real quick. Make sure I'm right. Um, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, very big piece. Um, but hey, would you, even even though it, I, you know, I hope it do come back because they, you know, they need Jimmy Butler, but they have done tremendously, uh, tremendously turning that team around with him and with that veteran squad they got. Okay, here we go. Uh, Jimmy Butler says his team playing soft with playoff work online. Um, because I think I thought he was good to come back if I'm not mistaken and um oh yeah they say he he's got uh, they're working him back into the rotation. So he should be back. Yeah. So, you know, the Minnesota. Say it again. You're breaking up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they put them. They they'll put them. Who is. Okay. I, I need to see the season. And I can. Is um look at it better because you know putting them in the eight seed, I think y'all ain't worried about. It. Okay. Yeah. So I feel you. Um, I know you got slide off real quick. Uh, like I said, um. I can, you know, I take over here and just take, just take off with it. Um, like I said, uh, what, what is it, one more week for the playoffs, right? Yeah, so, you ain't scared. Yeah, you ain't scared, of you? <laughs> A little nervous. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. All right. All right, bro. I I take over from here, so uh, we'll catch you up tomorrow and get you up to speed with everything. Cool. All right, have a good one. Now. All right. <laughs> All right, that was C's. Uh, so he uh, will be back tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So you got your boy Big T here. And uh, catch up with some stuff. Like I said, let's let's go. Uh, uh, get everything straight real quick, and we'll be right back. I don't really think that I've never been a loser, never been a winner. Motherfucking shame my hand noodles for dinner. I ain't got time, cause I be on the grind. Bitches on my dick, but they never on my mind. I ain't got money, and I ain't got friends. Looking kinda bummy, and that's just how it ends. Never had a story, but I gotta tell one. They don't understand it, never gonna fail, son. Do it how I do it, and they be looking stupid. I don't give a fuck, though, that's just how I go. Say that is stupid.
stupid Cause that don't do trap shit What the fuck is that shit Man I love this hip hop I'm going to the tip top Wanna see me switch it up They wanna see me flip flop But I don't know how I just wanna do me I can't even help it man You know that I'm a true G Sticking to the rules I ain't switching up But if you don't like it Then I don't give a fuck Cause I'ma keep on doing it I'ma keep on doing it I don't give a fuck I got a dream and I'm pursuing it Show Sundays at 8 o'clock, stream radio. Uh, what your boy Big T, QC, Small Slack, J Real, Cherry Blossom, Lady V, E Dub, uh, Sports Connection 4, Chauncey and the Boys, P. Uh, what's going on? What's good? So, uh, like I said, um, she catching up on the NBA season is winding down. Um, playoff spots about to go, you know, like I said, Golden State. Got you know destroyed last night. Um, Washington, uh, Boston is struggling a little bit right now. Um, it's hard, you know, it's hard to get the seedings. You know, you know what Kyrie gone with Boston that that makes them very wrong. And um, so who would step up to take that spot? Cleveland's not playing great ball. What you look at now, you look at Cleveland to be the very the favorite. Of the Eastern Conference because of hey, everybody got LeBron, they LeBron, LeBron, so you know that you know you you just assume that's going to take over. So uh, like I said, Boston is not playing the uh, great of ball right now, but hey, kids are stepping up. Jalen Brown, twenty-seven points last night, um, and um, Tatum, you know, you know, twelve points. Uh, Horford doing his thing, 10 points, 14 rebounds, what you expect from him. But, you know, after then, you, you really don't have nobody. Um, the depth is, you know, from last year, you had Isaiah Thomas, you had Bradley, you had um, Crawford, you had guys that, you know, they didn't even step in. Now, this a new team with, with losing Kyrie, the leader, is a big deal. So, um, now, the question is, who's looking on, uh, how's Cleveland looking now? So, it, 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 like, you know, Kyrie didn't succeed this year. So, hey, looking good. But, hey, it was injuries. So, Kyrie has a history of injuries during his career. But I think the kid has uh, amazing talent. I'm not going to do um, bragger, but that he's one of the guys that, from Duke, uh, like you know, he 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 got he do he does his thing, um, so um, hey, it is what it is. Um, Washington, you know John Wall's back, and we, we discussed that. Um, 
you know, is the team better without him or with him? You know, John Wall last night, 29 points, 12 assists. Bradley Beal, that's 19 points. That's the whole clip. Can they get along? Can you, can you have a coach? Can Scott um, bring them together? Can you have a coach that, you know, hey, this works with y'all? Because, you know, like Kobe and Shaq, uh, the duo, uh, uh, Michael and Scott, Michael and Scott had worked because they knew, um, you know, Michael was the leader of that team and I was going to feel the war. Uh, do, who wants to be the leader of this team, Bradley Beal or John Wall? That's the whole idea. And the whole lot of people having, having problems with John Wall in that locker room. Now, I hope they got it together. It's a playoff run. You know, he sees Steven A. Smith talking about this, them all the time. They can be dangerous, but when are they going to step up and be their team? So, you know, uh, their bench, Mike Scott, 12 points. Um, you know, it's, I just think they are, they are a dangerous team, but let's see what happens. So, let's see what happens. Uh, Philly's still rolling. I think this, like, um, 15 straight win without Embiid. Um, I told you, I, I feel that team would get, I just like Philly. I just like what they're doing. I like the chemistry they got, even when they got um, they were this summer, and they was like, I like it. Be healthy, Simmons coming back, and the veterans that they uh, put in to um, help this team. I was like, wow, you know, it, they really would be something, and they they showing it. Um, people thought they're gonna be another scrub year, and they have it. They. Right now, the third seed over Cleveland. Um, I think they're a game ahead now. I get two games if I'm mistake, mistaken. Um, JJ Ray, 28 points last night. Um, I, ben Simmons, 14 points, 10 rebound. I think this kid going to be a star in, in the making. Um, I think he's. He can be up there to the Knicks, LeBron, and that's why the conversation I brought up the other day. All right, with LeBron um, going free agency, and I, you know, you hear Philly is one of the teams that going after him. Will that hurt them? And I think it will because of the excitement of the game, and that's what I, my point is. You got this team you're excited about, and you, I think the chemistry of them together. Bringing LeBron in, yeah, it will. I think it was hard. It will hard. It would be hard getting them in a good fit because you got Ben Simmons, you got Embiid, you got uh, folks. Um, you know, you got that team together that you want and what you like. So why put LeBron there? And I know he he would. That's baby Brian, Brian. You know, he ain't gonna take care of him. He can look good. He can look great. Blase this, blase that, but sometimes you just, I, I just feel like you just, some teams you just don't fit on, and I think there's just one he don't fit on, but hey, we'll see, like I said, I see him going to the Lakers, somewhere like that, um, I don't see him in Houston, um, New York, got to get some pieces down there to fit with him. Um, to make that team gel together because you don't want to go to a point where like Cleveland last year he got to a point where if he lost two or three games straight he was one uh, nobody's not doing nothing but me and stuff like that um, yes yeah, like I said I hear um, like it was a lady on uh, a post that um, I, I put up for um, our link for the show and she was saying you know LeBron a good Samaritan uh, he's a good um, uh, person for the community and things like that. And I definitely agree with that. He's doing his thing in the community. He gave him back. He, he's not afraid to speak his mind about uh, politics, um, what's going on in the world, things like that. So, hey, I give him that. But when it comes to basketball, yes, he's LeBron. 
but at the same time, I think he 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 just wanted too much to me. I always thought that you know I just they, I think they always for him the comparison Kobe and Michael and things like that, and that's that's you know because people say you're the bride, you just hate the bride and stuff like that, and that it just he just he just wanted too much to me. I always thought that. So hey, it is what it is. Um, let's go to one quick commercial break and we'll be right back. On the rise, fuck the mother guys. Why y'all niggas looking all stupid and surprised? Money on my mind, money on my mental niggas. Know I'm on my grind, so you know what I get into. Dealing with my brothers, I ain't fucking with you suckers. Swear that guy, y'all niggas, I had know that y'all just can't touch us. Bricks, that's the click. Haters on our dick, give a shit. Every time I turn around, I give them shit. Niggas know just how it go. Blowing on some other shit, about to fucking blow and take off like the mothership. They don't understand it, they be underhanded. I don't think I give a shit until the day I'm apprehended. Uh, lyrically, I'm hard, lyrically, it's soft. Swear to God, I fuck around, I have to knock you haters off. Haters get tossed, deep in your bitch. Bitch, I ride with the starting five, they be on the bench. The real is on the rise, on the mother guys. on the rise, trying to get on this guy. I just wanna be up in the Hall of Fame. Everybody hating, man, it's all a shame. They really think I'm playing, but it's not a game. And all these other rappers sounding all the same. I ain't got no time for that. I be where the grind is at. So if you tryna look for me, then you know where to find me at, dog. Why these niggas hating on our cause? Put my dick up in your bitch and let her hate my balls. They say you only get one shot, but I got a full clip, so my spitting won't stop. I'm the best for the rest, cause all you niggas suck. I advise you keep it moving like a U-Haul truck. I've been spitting this for years, and y'all niggas just started. I'm shitting on you rappers, and it smell like you just fought it. That's just how it go, these niggas are slow. Me, myself, I'm chasing dope, while you out here chasing hoes, yeah. The real is on the rise, on the mother's head. up on my ride, trying to get on this guy. Alright, that was the rules on the rise, J Real, J Real Hip Hop Show. And you can catch all our shows on Stream Break uh Stream Radio right here on Spricker.com. Catch us uh, on iTunes, YouTube, um, SoundCloud, um, in, anywhere, um, <laughs> Facebook, anywhere, you know, just hit up Extreme Radio, Google us, um, Google Chrome, Stream Radio, with we'll a pop up, Stream Switch, we want Big T, J Real Hip Hop Show, Chatting Up with Lady V, um, Street Stories, much, much more. 
are, and please tune in this weekend, Saturday, uh, Sports Connection 4, uh, with Chauncey and the Wolves. They're going to bring you all the updates, sports, um, in-depth, um, um, uh, stats, everything. Sports Connection for this Saturday, so tune in for that. And also, you know, just Extreme Radio, uh, hit us up on uh, our emails at, um, hit us up on Facebook page, Extreme Radio Facebook page. Um, and you, can, you can check out what all our shows are doing. Uh, if you want to talk to us, email us tymm72 at gmail.com. Um, or oh, Extreme Radio 18 at gmail.com. So, hey, you got a question, you got a uh, request. Like I said, we're doing interviews. You got business that you want to get out. You, you know, you want to talk about it. It's up. Um, you got um, uh, special events going on. Hit us up at uh, Stream Radio at gmail18.com. And uh, much, much more. All right, let's talk about, let's see what's going on in the NFL draft is coming up. Um, so, uh, the kid from UCLA, he can talk about, um, a lot. Um, can he be another Johnny Manziel? And what I mean by that is a rich guy, um, that, you know, he's not worried about, um, he, he just, his, he, 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 his head too big, um, and then think nobody can tell him that he, it's just like, it's about him and things like that. And Johnny had to go, Johnny Mazzell, um, uh, I don't really know what's going on with him, uh, him these days. He had to, um, uh, uh, um, take a big hit and realize that, um, the world didn't resolve around him, you know. He went down a lot, but he's he has. Um, you look at the interview he did a couple weeks ago on Sports Center, took him to his mom to say something to him and was scared for his life and things like that. And he had changed his life around. He, he said he's married now. His wife, um, his wife, stick by his side 100%. He loving that. It's like he's a, he's a changed man. And I, you know. I commend him for that, and hopefully he keeps up the good work he says day by day. He's not drinking and stuff no more, so, hey, day by day. You look at Josh Gordon. Um, Josh Gordon, of course, had the same problem with smoking weed and stuff, and one of his most special talents out there. And um, I think he had been leading three years, three or four years, three years. And um, still, having, you know, came back and had a pretty good year this year. Um, I think he played like four or five games and still, you know, still got that face. He's still a great uh, player. And, uh, you know, so he won't see what he got. So I'm looking at him saying that um, Cleveland for another year and see. Um, and I think he'll get a big contract. People, you got to trust. You got to trust him these days. You know, he won't go on a relapse and things like that. So. Uh, we will see. Um, let's see. And the whole um, Odell Beckham is he's standing in the news. I, I, I'm be honest with you. I think it's a lot of drama. I think he's um, he's everywhere. His face everywhere. Everything going on. He he's there. It's just it's Odell Odell uh, now. Somebody he was on Twitter. Or something got caught smoking some weed, and um, you know, you think nobody gonna say shit, say nothing to him, things like that. Um, like the big thing about the playoffs last year, the year before, um, he was on the boat in Miami instead of him and the boy, instead of getting ready for his playoff uh, game against Green Bay, focused on that and got the tail for um. Now uh, you see what it caused in that team. It's last year going three and uh, thirteen, uh, very terrible year uh, for the New York Giants. And I'm looking at them to bounce back this year and have a decent year. Not to win the whole thing, but have a decent year. Uh, the Giants can be one of the uh, 
most terrible teams always that I see because they're old, but they still are one of the best out there. Um, I think they will have a bounce back year. Um, I think Washington will have a good year, but I still think they still miss a whole lot of pieces, even though they were my boys. Um, I think Alex will lead them in a different direction this year, but you still need a running back, and that's the whole deal about that. Get it done. They need a running back. I feel P. Ryan can do it, but you still need it. I still feel like you need a 200 heavy monster. Um, I still will go, go back and get Apple Moore. So I still think he can still play. I still think he'll do his thing. I was a big shout out. I never. I checked RG3 back in the league, and now I hear people say, um, what about Kaepernick? Because RG3 back, it, you, know, you people, you got to understand that was a um, different reason because of RG3 and Kaepernick. And yes, Kaepernick do deserve to be back in the league for his uh, how he, his political um, state shouldn't determine how what kind of player you are and um you know you you speaking and that's the whole thing about this world we live in these days you, you know you speaking to um take up for the youth and uh society these days and you get disc- discriminated for it and i feel like that's wrong he do deserve you back in the league you know what Ain't done today, but uh, he uh, really deserves to be back in the league and, you know, give this man an opportunity. But like I said, it was just a different thing with him, RG3. RG3 with injuries. Um, he was sort of in the next great thing. And I think, like I said, when in Washington, he got his, his head got too big. And, you know, I would, that 2012 year was amazing. And I feel like, oh, shoot, we got a quarterback now. We good. We got a running back. We good. Then it's like RG3 trying to take over. RG3 this, RG3 that. That 2013 uh, season, the um, the, um, the um, um, training camp, um, Exhibition games and things like that was great. Came in the season. He um back first game. I'm jumping right in and Philly took whoop die tails and just went on from there and couldn't get it right. And you know the next two years hurt injuries still couldn't get it right. So hey, it, it was what it was. It's over and it is you know. But hey, we'll see. Um, let's take a quick break before we get off the air. Talk a little more and be right back. This is Big T from Extreme Sports with your boy Big T and King C's. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays on Spreaker.com slash Extreme Radio. Also, you can catch us with Big T, King C's, Marvelous Matt, on Spreaker.com slash Extreme Radio with your boy Big T here. We can bring you all the entertainment sports, news, updates, entertainment, group discussions, anything we go in, we want to talk about. Like and share. Hit your boys up on the stream radio group page, facebook.com. Hey, your boy Big T here. Hit me up, tymm72 at gmail.com or tymm72 at yahoo.com with your boy Big T from Extreme Radio. Alright, um, I'm back. Extreme Radio with your boy Big T King Season. I was back on um, Extreme Sports. Uh, Who's that guy? Big T, Extreme Sports. Um, like I said, New Times, Sundays, uh, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, 9 a.m. on Spooker.com. You can listen to me, Big King C's. Um, 
I am Sundays, Marvelous Matt and the crew. And um, go back and you can go back and listen to all our shows, strippers.com slash history radio. You can catch me, J Real Hip Hop Show, J Real Hip Hop Show. You ain't heard it yet. Taking off Big Splash. Um, like I said, we're trying to go viral with this thing, you know. Um, catch up with us and um, go back through, you can go through old shows, iHeartRadio. And hey, let us know what you think. Um, before I get off the air, um, looking at Houston and um, Lakers last night, uh, 32 year old, um, I think Andre Ingram last night, 19 points. Uh, he got on a 10 day contract with the Lakers, made an incredible debut last night. Um, and your dreams, you never know your dream can happen. So he uh, got on the roster last night, 19 points last night. Um, um, in a loss to number one seed Houston, though. Um, Houston still doing their thing. Um, 21 points uh, for James Harden, 10 assists. Chris Paul, 22.6 assists. Um, we just, Houston just got it all right now. They're doing everything right. Um, looking like, hey, they might. Being in the uh, NBA Finals, but like I said, Golden State got the last laugh about this. See what happens. Um, Lakers Jr. Julius Randle, 17 points. Lopez, 12 points. Um, uh, Josh Hart, 20 points. Um, I guess there's something. I saw ball down for the rest of the year. I guess um, by the next year, we've got to see what happens with this Lakers team. You know, get this free agency. Um, is Paul George going to be in the mix or LeBron or hey maybe somebody else we, we'll see um, I'm looking at you know hopefully I'm looking at Charlotte doing something next year uh, very big I think you know with the hiring of Mitch Kochek can they see they turn it around I think um, like I said Michael looking to um Get a good squad around there. Um, I, um, Dwight Howard, like I, I was, I've been saying, has a nice turnaround year. Uh, I think he looked like Dwight Howard or old. Uh, 14.17 rebounds. He was averaging double doubles all year. Um, Kimber Walker been doing his thing. Um, but you still need some talent around there. Um, Indian Pacers or uh, they beat the Indian Pacers last night, one nineteen to ninety three. Um, Indiana Steel uh, had a re- had a great year this year, uh, 46, 48 and thirty four. Um, I think they're like fourth in the East. I know you know in the Eastern Conference, not a bad year. Uh, whole you know losing Paul George and you never knew what was gonna happen. Um, great year, so. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, um, that is my time for the day, y'all. Um, like I said, tomorrow, uh, me and King C's will go back at it again and, um, give you more depth, detail about uh, the NBA, what's going on. We're going to talk about, um, talk about this playoff run and who playing who and what will happen, man. Hey, get ready for it. All right. Y'all have a great day, and thank you for joining our extreme social support kit, Big T King Seeds, on this Wednesday morning. Y'all have a good one.